Great. Now we've gone through to find our regions of interest of each band we want to quantify. We then went ahead and defined our background method to accurately subtract unwanted background signals. And then we went through the profile tool and confirmed accurate shape size around each band. Now, at this point, where's our data? If the data is not already shown, make sure to go to the analysis ribbon to the show section. And here you'll see there's a little quantification checkbox. Go ahead and make sure that's checked. So now we can go ahead and see our reported values. In Image Studio, we call this final value signal. Now that we can see these values, it's important time to talk about brightness and contrast and its potential impact on data accuracy. In many software programs, any brightness contrast change you perform can have great changes on values and ratios. For data accuracy and precision, it's important to ensure your software does not impact your data this way. In Image Studio software, you don't need to worry. Here, when I go to my brightness contrast and I make changes to my brightness and contrast, we can see it has no impact at all on my quantified values. This is because the quantification is independent of these settings, always ensuring accurate quantification. In addition to appearing on the image, quantification is also listed below in the table here, the shapes table. In this table, we have all the pertinent information associated with the analysis. We have the image name, the channel the quantified region sits in, the name of the shape, and then here we have our background corrected signal. The total area and background values listed are what are being used to drive the signal value. The total value is the summation of all the pixel values within the region of interest from the original file. Now this value includes background and will change with shape size. To correct for background and to correct for shape size, we'll take into account the area, which is the shape size in square pixels, and the background, which is defined by the background method you set. The signal value is equal to our total intensity, and then subtracted out of that is our area size times the background subtracted out. Now to export this table out, we can simply go ahead and come to our table and click the report options. This allows us to first save as, to save this table as a Microsoft Excel file. Alternatively below it, if you click launch spreadsheet, you can launch the table immediately and open Microsoft Excel. If you do not have Microsoft Excel, then what you can do is go to your data, select the data you want to go ahead and export, and then come to your table and hit copy. Then you can go into a program of your choice and hit paste to paste this data there. Once you have exported your analysis into the final program of choice, you can continue on with your data analysis using the features of that program. Those are the basics of how to accurately and precisely quantify a Western blot image using Image Studio Lite software. If you want to learn more about Image Studio Lite and how to use it, you can find a number of support videos and resources at www.litecore.com slash islite. Thanks for taking the time to watch these lessons and good luck with your own analysis.